Hey everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a bombshell update on Sean Diddy Combs' ongoing legal battles. Alright, let's dive right in. Last Tuesday in a Manhattan federal court, Sean Diddy Combs was denied bail. Yes, you heard that right, denied. This decision comes amid some serious charges including sex trafficking, racketeering conspiracy, and illegal transportation for prostitution. The prosecutors didn't hold back. They argued that Diddy, who has an estimated net worth of around $1 billion, posed a significant flight risk. Why? Because he has the financial resources to disappear and potentially tamper with the ongoing investigation. Judge Robin Tarnofsky didn't mince words either. She highlighted Diddy's alleged history of violence, including incidents that seemed both planned and spontaneous. Imagine the courtroom scene. Diddy, dressed in a simple black t-shirt and sweatpants, looking visibly agitated, unable to stay still. Assistant U.S. Attorney Emily Ann Johnson presented some pretty damning evidence. This included videos obtained through search warrants that purportedly show Diddy orchestrating and recording graphic sex performances referred to as freak-offs. Now, Diddy's legal team, led by Mark Agnifilo, proposed a staggering $50 million bond package. They were willing to surrender all passports and even sell Diddy's private jet. But the judge wasn't convinced. Given the severity of the charges, she ruled that the risks were just too high. Prosecutors also painted a grim picture of Diddy, using his wealth and influence to silence witnesses. They compared him to other notorious figures like Jeffrey Epstein and R. Kelly, who were also denied bail due to concerns about witness tampering and flight risk. Diddy's lawyer tried to push back, arguing that his relationship with Cassie Ventura, who made significant allegations against him was consensual, although admittedly volatile. Agnifilo claimed that Ventura's accusations were financially motivated, mentioning a $30 million demand for her silence. They also pointed out that Diddy has been cooperative, notifying prosecutors about his whereabouts, including a recent whitewater rafting trip. Agnifilo stressed that Diddy had no prior criminal convictions and was committed to facing the charges. Despite these arguments, the court held firm. The judge decided that Diddy would remain in custody without bail, considering his potential to interfere with the investigation and his history of violent behavior. So there you have it, folks. Diddy denied bail and facing some very serious allegations. This story is far from over, and we'll be following it closely to bring you the latest updates. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any breaking news. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay safe out there.